Yesterday, I did a beer bottle shoot, and I left everything in place so I could go through the setup. Right here, I've got my camera with a polarizing filter in front of the lens. In front of that, I've got a piece of foam board to block any light leaking from the background light into the lens itself. Right here, I've got a flash unit with a snoot and a polarizing gel on the end of the snoot. That's meant to just light the label of the bottle itself. These two panels right here are just meant to act as general reflective bounce for the overall scene. And on the other side, I've got a panel with a strip box to create a nice graded light on the outside of the bottle and the glass. Let me take you around the corner and I'll show you how that's set up. This is pretty simply set up. I've got a strip box at an angle from a piece of diffusion material to create a nice gradiated light along the outside edge of the bottle. I've got the diffusion material a lot higher than the strip box so that it doesn't create a cutoff of light along the shoulder of the bottle and gradiates the light there as well. I've got a few elements in the back I'd like to show you, so we'll head there next. I've got a lot of elements in the background of this scene that make it seem overly complicated, but let me break it down as simply as I can. I've got a curtain and a window frame right here. I've got a lot of green leafy material to act as sort of an outside element. And I've used the bright blue wall of the studio and this light right here to create a sky. This light, I've used it to light the background of the scene and create that sun streaming through the window feeling. That's really it. Let me take you back around to the front and I'll show you how I lit the bottle itself. After I got everything placed on set and composed the way that I like it, I took the beer bottle off the set, dressed it with fake ice, and then put it back. Since I wanted to work from back to front, I filled up the glass full of beer, I focused on it, and then I used a chopstick to stir up the beer and create a nice foamy head. I then refocused on the bottle and started to work on that. First up, I used a reflective white card to get some light on the right side of the label. Next, I wanted to get some nice light through the bottle itself. So I took a piece of plexiglass and I placed it behind the bottle. I then I grabbed a fifth light and I moved it around until I got the lighting through the bottle exactly the way that I like it. I took several images of the label, the bottle, and the beer, and I combined them all together in Photoshop to get a really nice composite image that really stands out. I hope this has been an informative look at how I create an image like the one you've seen. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.